All right, guys, Chalk Talk Thursday. Gotta hurry, because I gotta run. So, trying to make it quick. Remember, I've been talking about dopamine, the get up and go, get up and go. It works for us when it's on fire, but if it goes too far, we're in trouble, and we're getting to, and that's when we actually get into trouble. So today I'm gonna talk about the nose. So what the heck does the nose have to do with dopamine? A lot, actually. There's a big picture there of the nose, but um, there is connections between our nose and the midbrain, the part of our brain that is called the amygdala. And the amygdala, fancy word, is where dopamine works. That's where all our moods get picked up. That's where we decide if we're gonna be happy, sad, angry. Um, that's how we respond to people, if it's gonna be appropriate or inappropriate. And dopamine actually has a little play in that. And so um, that's all going on in the amygdala. Now it's hard to turn off the brain when it's getting out of control. So if your dopamine is too high, it's hard to just think your way out of trouble. And so the way you can get to some of those issues, or at least with the amygdala, just like churning and churning and churning, is through our senses. And so one important sense is smell. And so our nose, there's olfactory receptors in our nose that go directly to the amygdala. And so if you can adjust certain smells, it'll actually affect your amygdala. And they've done some studies on these. They found that there's certain smells that do a better job at trying to calm down your amygdala. And so if you can calm down your amygdala, then you can actually think a little bit clearer, focus, because remember I said dopamine is like a Goldilocks hormone or neurotransmitter is it works very well somewhere down the middle. And so what we're trying to do is if you're feeling a little too edgy, is try and pull that dopamine down a little further so we can focus and concentrate and actually learn. You actually have to, you only learn when you're down the middle. So what I do, what I've done studying with all the stuff that I have to throw in my head is I, tr I commonly put smells and I trained my brain with certain smells. And so a couple of smells that I like are my favorite, Brazilian orange and rosemary. And the reason why I like those is because they stimulate my brain. I've trained it to stimulate my brain and actually they are noted to help with focus. The common one that people talk about is lavender. It's not so much focus as it is for calming. Um, I don't like the smell of lavender. It just sort of smells like you're trying to cover up something bad. So orange and rosemary actually, on the other hand, smells really sparky. And every time my patients run and walk into a clinic, they can smell it, even with their masks. They always say, smells good in here. But I like to run it because then people start to pay attention and we can sort of get through a good, a good visit and have some alertness and some excitement about what I talk about. So, put some smell on your olfactory nerve and if it's the rosemary and lavender, it actually can help your brain. And so that's why we associate um, a lot of memories with smell, um, but you can actually use that in your advantage to try and get some focus going on and controlling your dopamine. So that's how you can take care of some of those high-end dopamine issues and also just to try and help, you know, with overall mood. So that's Chalk Talk Tuesday, Thursdays. We'll catch up next week.